get off your personal generic server emails. It just tells us you don't know, have the passion. So if you don't have the passion, I'm sorry, we love what we do here. We're not interested in your lack of passion business. This is again our Startup 101 series. Now we're gonna talk about if you want to be an importer of goods. You've discovered this great product you wanna to bring to market. You then go, okay, well then how do I do it? If you're a startup, good luck in finding any multinational that will respond to you because they're not interested in small business. They've got big overheads. They want big brand names. That's going to give them the bragging rights amongst the multinationals club. Okay, so stick with a local forwarder, someone that you can meet face to face, someone you can sit with, someone you can talk about your idea with. That freight forwarder, if they're truly global, should have exposures to many industries and many companies within that industry. And there's a good chance that they're already dealing with a good few of your competitors or people similar to what you're trying to do. If they hear your idea out and they see what your idea is and they give you attention, that's also sometimes telltale signs that you're onto something good. Don't ask your manufacturer for a cost of shipping. They are there to produce that goods for you. Yes, can they organize shipping? I'm sure they can. Do they organize shipping for other customers? Oh, they, they most likely do, but their core business isn't shipping. Their core business is making that product you want. Yes, it sounds good on paper, sounds good in theory, but it doesn't work for your unique business. And the key word here is unique. What they can give you more often than not is just a generic idea of something. You've got no checks and balances on the service level, what they are providing, because they're not providing it, they are introducing someone else. So you're not in direct contact. So you're not in control. And when you're a startup, the most important thing is you want to be in control of your supply chain. You want to have visibility because that's the only way you're going to get control of your costs. And that doesn't mean chase bottom dollar, but to understand what you will pay is a lot more robust than to go for a cheap dollar today and then a month down the track when you start to pay the bill, you've got all these hidden charges come to you and go, oh, I didn't account for that. That will snuff out any great idea very, very quickly. You're hearing from a freight guy who's been moving freight for decades, decades. Right, I've seen pitfalls, so do not just go to a manufacturer for shipping costs. Go to them for what they do as a core business, the product that you want. Engage your freight forwarder while you're engaging on the product, negotiating product costs. And they engage in the freight forwarder to add that cost onto it. The freight forwarder should be able to guide you and help you, in fact, even help you facilitate that process where you can arrive at the land of costing. Very important, guys, very important. A reputable freight company should always be able to give you a fair price. You know, no reputable freight forwarder will always come to you and go, I'm gonna give you the cheapest price. Ones who say that are often not good operators. Would you sell your product for next to nothing? Understand who you are and then go search for a freight provider that suits who you are. Then there is a fit for purpose. The final comment, for the love of everything that is peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, get off your personal generic server emails. Go and invest some money into a website. Invest in a proper email domain that is your company's name because that is when people may start to take you seriously. We get so many requests coming from Gmails, Hotmails, Yahoos. It just tells us you're not serious in your business. You cannot expect us to take you seriously when you're not even serious in your own business. It just tells us you don't have the passion. So if you don't have the passion, I'm sorry, we love what we do here. We're not interested in your lack of passion business. I'm sorry that sounds harsh, but it's a reality. So wake up. So I think there's some pretty good robust tips in there already, but I will need direction from you in terms of what areas of importing you want me to deep dive into. I'm happy to make that content. We really want to help you out to really educate you. And if we can help you with our shipping service, you know, look us up. Thank you. Think Global Logistics.